Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to integrate Framer with Shopify in 2024. So today we're diving into the integration of Framer with Shopify, which is a powerful combination that will allow you to design and prototype beautiful user interfaces and like seamlessly translates them into some functional Shopify store. Whether you are a seasoned designer or new to the Shopify platform, this integration offers endless of possibilities for creating captivating online experience. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and open a browser that you'll need, uh, that you'll use. For me here, I'm using Brave. For you, you can use any other browser this could possibly have. Once you open it, go to this URL section and start by going to Framer. So just type Framer here, go to this first link, and you'll have to do the same for Shopify. So go to shopify.com and you'll find yourself here. Make sure to log in into your account. And the same for uh, Framer. If you have an account, just go and log in into it. If you don't, you'll have to go and create a new account. Of course, you can log in using Google on both options. Uh, for me, I guess like yeah, I'm already like signing into my Shopify account, so I don't have to do so. And here I don't have an account, so I'll just go and click on start for free. Start with Google. So that will get me through all the boring steps of entering my information alone. So I'll just use Google here. And yeah, all is right. Of course, I agree to terms of service. I don't want them to send me any updates on email or informations and etc because it's normally newsletter and some useless things that I don't need personally. So here, uh, as you can see, so I'll just go all stores, create another store because my all, all stores are inactive, are inactive because stores like gets inactive after three days of here of creating a store because I'm just on the free plan on uh, Shopify. Of course, if you get a better plan, your store will not get inactive. So yeah, I'll just get, I don't want to help setting up. I don't care about all of that. And yeah. So now you have your Shopify store and you have your Framer accounts ready to use. How to integrate Framer with Shopify now? Simply, the first thing is you should go here and design your store in Framer. You can begin uh, here and design and prototype tools to uh, and use this prototype tools to create the visual elements and user interface uh, components for your Shopify store. You can design products, pages, navigation menus, cart layout, and any other elements you envision for your online store. You can take advantage of Framer interactive features to stimulate user interaction and taste the usability of your design. You can even use as example some things that is already like some templates that's already added or used here or uh, of course available on Framer. And as you can see, you'll basically have to add some pictures, some logos for your stuff and etc. And you'll be good to go. Let's say example, this is gonna be my store. And of course here, you'll be able, once you finish the design and you wanna like now integrate that design into your Shopify store as a page, as example, as a homepage or a sign up page or the landing page, as you can see in here. You can of course publish it here. If you click on publish, as you can see, it will publish in a domain that's is given by uh, like Framer. You can insert some stuff as example, other stuff. So for you, just insert whatever you want and you basically be good to go. So to integrate, of course, that's on Shopify. Let's just check first of all, if they have the app of Framer in Shopify. If that is available, it will automate a lot of things for us. So to do to check, so I'll just go here to settings and oh not setting sorry i'll just go here to this panel click on add apps and here click on shopify app store and that's what should take us of course to shopify app store and here we basically have to look for framer and hit the enter button and look if there's a framer there of course it does not seems like there's something like framer here so yeah it's you cannot do it like um, automated because like this app will automate a lot of things for you if you don't want to do it by your own so basically, once you finish, it seems like designing your page or your store, basically, you'll be able, of course, to export that. Whatever you did in here, you'll be able to export it on your Shopify. So to export it, and of course, before even like uh, exporting it, you will need to go and click on this play button and see if it's everything working as intended, of course, and click on full screen see if it's everything is working as as it should if it is you will be good to go and you'll be able to import it of course like how to import it exactly if you go and click in here as you can see if you click on file you will not find like any import you'll find just uh, or export you'll find just import 
import like if you go and click on imports as you can see you have some things to do as an example if you want to import from i don't know what i did in there like imports from scratch if you want to import from figma as an example you'll need to go and get the plugin of of it and etc but how can you import it to your shopify because you want to import it with the images icons uh, css style and other resources needed to build your shopify store so how can you of course we can just go to shopify click on settings here if we go to apps and sales channels example as you can see uh, there is nothing in here so make sure to go even here to develop apps click on allow custom apps development allow it and yeah you can create some apps as an example if you want to and you can even go back to the shopify app store to check it uh, as an example if you type here again framer you will not find it as an example or you can even ask some about some apps as an example and try to get it out of course if you want to shopify add it to their shopify app store but as you can see and there is no option from there so basically you'll have to set up your shopify api integration utilize the magic import for importing data create a shop uh, cms collection framer and copy and paste and design components then you'll be able to set up some product displays and finalize and test your integration if it's all working as intended of course for like better understanding of this there is like uh, an article on framer on how to do this exactly like if you go just and type like uh, framer.com uh, slash academy i guess like uh yeah slash academy slash lessons so slash okay slash shopify sorry and i guess slash shopify then you should add this okay not this not this this one and then integration let's see if it will take us to the right one oh yeah i missed one things one thing here so it should be like this and yeah as you can see this will show you exactly how to do it this article it has everything about the integration of it why because like there is no app but you will have still to use it through the apps and as you can see there is a full video here like an eight minute video on how to do it how to integrate it so make sure to go and check it out so then make sure to test everything out and then you can launch your shopify store without any problems so that's going to be it for me today thank you for watching and you've learned how to integrate it of course this will allow you to uh, seamlessly transition from design to development and launch a stunning online store by combining frame and design capabilities with shopify powerful e-commerce platform you can create immersive shopping experience and delight your customers so happy designing and selling and i'll catch you in the next video so goodbye